Hello everybody and welcome to another knockoff review. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the um, officially kind of the first offering from APC Toys. I believe this is just a rebranding of one of the Black Mamba branches, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is because they were looking at Transformers Prime uh, prior to kind of name changes, etc. Uh, this is of course based on the first edition, Optimus Prime. Quick look around the box, very straightforward. Look, we've got Bulkhead coming next. And we have uh, Prime on the back there. A couple of uh, warnings, I believe. Uh, that is about it. And here we have him out of his plastic prison. He comes packaged in a plastic clamshell. Uh, he's not perfect. Uh, as you can see, straight off the bat, mine has paint blemishes all over the front here. I could probably get that off, I think but it's a matter of uh, really should I have to. Uh, it is basically the first edition Optimus Prime with additional paint applications. Uh, we also have the Dr. Wu uh, head upgrade and weapons kind of as standard. He comes with the maskless Prime face, uh, which can be switched out. Uh, he comes with two of his blasters done in the black plastic. He comes with two of his Energon blades. Again, these have all been done in the past. Uh, they just kind of revisited them. And then we get his handle section here. And then we get his blade as well. Uh, all things that Dr. Wu kind of released back in the day, ready when this first came out. Uh, but now they have kind of revisited it, I think with the success of the Iron Warriors version, uh, they kind of decided to go back and take a look again. Uh, it's a nice figure. It's held together pretty well. Uh, it feels very much like the old uh, Takara original version. Now uh, the paint apps are different. Uh, forgive me, if I'm wrong, wasn't there a two-pack with Unicron uh, from Transformers Prime? And it was a very similar kind of color scheme. I could be getting confused here. Uh, but uh, we do have like the articulated hands, etc. Uh, the face sculpt is okay. Uh, like I said, I prefer the kind of maskless, almost a Ryan Pack style head for this particular mold. Uh, but I literally just hunted down uh, first edition bulkhead at TF Nation this year uh, to try and kind of rekindle my romance with Transformers Prime. And then they released this and then they announced they're doing bulkhead as well. I don't have my first edition anymore, but I do still have some of the accessories that came with it. And I have the original face sculpt. Uh, so that's pretty much Identical, actually probably less paint apps on the newer one. You have a single screw on the back of the head to switch that out for the Orion faceplate. Now I believe in the original Dr. Wu Stormbreaker video, uh, I established you don't actually need the hilt uh, section that can just kind of slide down to the back. Uh, we did used to get a tab. We used to get one of these and the space you'd think it would go, where it would plug in, would be under here. And that didn't work. Uh, now this one comes with a giant tab. Uh, the only thing I can assume, uh, we don't get any instructions. Uh, well, none that uh, kind of correspond or relate to this at all. Uh, the only thing I could assume is that we slide this down and that slides into this void here and there's a screw just in here and then we can just slot Stormbreaker in like so and then kind of just twist accordingly and there we go and we have prime with, uh, is it Stormbreaker or is Star Saber? And I think Stormbreaker was the Wu name for it, wasn't it? But there we are. There we have him uh, yielding 
his sword. And here he is alongside first edition Bulkhead. Uh, now I'm assuming that the Bulkhead that they're releasing is part of this. Uh, judging by what it shows on the side of the box, uh, it looks like he has his dream factory upgrade kit, which is awesome because it really does make the world of difference. Uh, but I love Bulkhead. It's such an amazing figure. I'm still looking out for the uh, RC first edition, I think. Might get a hold of that. Um, maybe even Cliff Jumper uh, or Bumblebee. I'll see who I can get. Because I do miss the Transformers Prime line. But this is exactly the same size as the original. I was kind of hoping that he'd be slightly oversized. But I guess for those who are trying to get a hold of the first editions now, they are incredibly expensive uh, for what they are. They kind of rocketed in price. So this is a very kind of more affordable, viable option. And it does feel nigh on the same as the original first edition. Other than the sloppy paint on that chest, there doesn't appear to be any glaring problems. Everything moves as it should. Uh, the head can look up, down, left, and right. We've got shoulder rotation, comes out to the side. There's an upper. We have that butterfly joint to the side there. We have an upper bicep rotation, incredibly stiff mind. Bend at the elbow, rotation at the wrist. The sword, which pops off willy-nilly. We have waist rotation in there, albeit it's kind of very unnatural. And we have legs that come forwards, backwards, out to the side, upper knee rotation there, bend on that knee, and then we get up and down, and we get some pivoting left and right. In the words of old school Ben, Glorious. Not actually at home at the moment. I just took my display section with me. Uh, when I get home, I'll take some pictures of the head switched out. It is the single screw, so just switch that out. In fact, uh, if you check out the thumbnail, the thumbnail is going to be the new head on there. That'll make it easier for people so they can see exactly what they're getting. Uh, let's get him transformed up into his vehicle mode and see how that fares. To get him transformed up, let's start with the uh, upper body. We'll start with these arms, the uh, wrists. Flick down. There on this hinge, like so. And this section here is also hinged. And we can bring this up. This is going to come around. And again, it's going to untab from the front and come around like so. And then these are going to come back. And we're going to rotate this top panel piece over. And over. So that pushes in and sits flat, and these are going to form the front of the truck. And we can just bring this piece down to the front like this. These open up like so, and open up like this. This folds out, this folds down and tabs in. With all of this pulled around, rotate the waist like so. This is going to come to the back here. Uh, this is going to drop down and if we look here it's going to tab in and there's a slot either side of this chest panel. The wheels drop down fully and again that's going to sit in this void here and drop in. These are going to push and tab together. This is going to slot and square up. I love these extended smokestack sections. Uh, his head <laughs> Should just drop down like so. Come around to the back of the legs, switch this up. This is going to come up. This will come down, and that's just going to drop into position there. Let's just tab these in now. You're just going to push and tab like so. And this will drop in and over, tidying up nicely. And then just before we close off the back of these legs, Get the trailer hitch up. There we go. And then just plug these in. There we go. Look at that. Nice and simple. One uh, first edition Optimus Prime, basically. And uh, we don't have the Autobot insignia on the front there. But all in all, it is basically the same. We'll do it. Uh, we do have this rather fetching color scheme. It really does kind of look 
and feel the part. I like how that looks. What do you all think? A uh, quick roll test. Everything rolls as it should and skids nicely. Uh, it does look exceedingly good. I really wish I'd uh, invested in some of the oversized prime stuff that they did back in the day. I know Graham, the Collector 75, he had some of the oversized prime stuff and it looked exceptional. It's a sturdy piece uh, for those who missed out on the first edition or sold them, uh, like the fool that I am, uh, then yes, this is definitely a viable option. It's affordable and I'm really looking forward to their bulkhead to see how he fares against this bad boy because it is one of my favorite first edition pieces to date and it'll be really inter interesting to see just how good they can make him and how good the upgrade kit is. Thanks again to TF Direct for making this review possible. I have included a link in the description below where this can be purchased. And until next time, for myself and the KO of the first edition of Optimus Prime, are goodbye.